Safe to Sing campaign uh, was a campaign that we ran uh, last year. We were particularly shocked to hear about a violent homophobic attack right in the centre of Manchester on two young men who'd just been singing in the trams and they were badly beaten. When we found out about that attack, um, we decided that we needed to do something about it. So two weeks after the attack, we took the trams on the, one very rainy November night and um, sang loud and proud. So we were squeezed into the trams with, uh, we had to, the Guardian with us and Radio 5 Live were on the tram with us. I've never had a harder job as a conductor. I was crushed in the middle of the tram, swinging in and out. But again, our singers can seem to cope with anything, apparently. The support for the event was phenomenal. Um, in the run-up to it also, uh, we managed to make headlines across the world. So we had support from The Advocate in the USA. So we, we'd gone from a local news story um, on the Wednesday to a national news story on the Friday to an international news story on the Saturday. So it was very quick. We were particularly pleased that we were able to highlight the issue of uh, homophobic, biphobic and transphobic violence and have that in the news constantly for three weeks. We still have a lot of interest in it and the Facebook page for Safe to Sing still has a lot of followers and um, we're looking into a permanent legacy. People could see what we were doing and yeah it was about something that happened here but it's just as much saying what Manchester and the spirit of Manchester can do to lead the way for the rest of the world.